Because, Andrew, I would put it to you, the story is England. That France are very, very good is not a huge surprise. It's no surprise that they've come back into form here as this championship has gone on. England are in tatters. They're yeah. a destroyed unit right now. Absolutely, and it's hard to... It's hard not to feel sorry um, for Borthwick and what he's doing and what he's trying to build. And how, like, He's an absolute workaholic. He's well thought of. He's had an unbelievable um, career so far with Leicester. And now he's just he's, everything's just changed in two months for him. And it's it's tough to imagine, as you say, Penny, for his thoughts. But um, I, think, I think Maddie's right. Not Certainly not that Marcus Smith is the bad guy here. No. But that, that whole debate's irrelevant. Yes. Because across the board, France were better 1-15, to 1-23. Especially, I think... There's elements of, of your game where you'll get, if you're more dominant, it'll, it'll exacerbate that. And I think it's back row. And if you look at um, Cross, um, Olivon and Aldrit, they were head and shoulders dominant, way more dominant than that, in that English back row. Jack Willis was anonymous. Um, anonymous. Don Brandt did, did nothing. Ludlum was quiet as well. And it, I think that kind of set the tone. I think up front as well, yeah, in the scrum front row. But England did manage to get a little bit of parity there at, at times, a couple of scrums, but the back row was just men against boys. 